Hey everybody, Sam here from Accuracy Obsession. Got a quick video to show you on something I was playing around with and kind of figured out on everybody's favorite bipod, the Atlas. I have a PSR here. Um, shout out to BNT and the Atlas bipod. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them in any way, but I've been using their bipod since I've been shooting matches about four years ago. And, uh, I've really come to like it for a lot of reasons. This isn't a review, I won't go into it. But I just picked up a new one. It's got the bigger buttons on the side and it has um, the detent holes in four different spots. And my, This one has the four lobes. My old one had five, so it's a little easier to grip. So kind of just wanted a new one just because but I wanted to go over quickly what the issue is that pretty much everyone talks about with this bipod, which is it doesn't lock out the pan. I like the pan. I think there's a lot of reasons why it's good, especially for PRS type shooting, which I do. I don't do any bench shooting. Um, if I lay down, I shoot a barricade, and then I have to lay down and shoot prone in the same stage. If you lay down and you need to angle your rifle a little bit left to right, this is perfect to me because as the guns get heavier and heavier, especially way out in front here, your bipod's a mile away, you can't reach it, it's heavy, I'd rather be able to pan the gun than have to pick it up and reposition myself for my natural point of aim where I think a lot of guys might just torque the rifle. So I've, I've got a little paint witness mark here so I'm going to turn this about as far as I can not really really cranking on it but you see I got a mark for the center and then a mark there for the knob itself. So that's about as hard as I can get it and there's a little bit of um, movement still can't and pan but the real question is why does it loosen and the answer is the mechanism is controlled by this knob so righty tighty lefty loosey you turn it to the right it tightens you turn it to the left it loosens but if you look at it when you pan the rifle and you turn the bipod this way so you're aiming to the right it, this line stays centered, but when you pan it the other way, that knob loosens. So if I keep doing this, you'll see that the knob unscrews. So that's why as you shoot a match, and you shoot a bunch of different stages, you shoot a mover, you have to move the gun, this thing becomes super wiggly, and you realize, oh crap, I need to tighten it back up. So you tighten it back up and it's good to go for the next stage. So there's a product out there, it's a little wrench by Victor Company that you use to tighten this. I don't have one, but I figured out a way to get it tighter without a wrench. And this is just something I was playing around with, kind of came up with. I don't know if anyone else does this. If you have, let me know. I'm not saying I invented something amazing. but. We turn it, it loosens, it loosens, loosens. We bring the bipod back to center and tighten it. The same thing is gonna happen. So what if we use that to our advantage? So if we watch this paint, this is centered up. I turn it, the knob turns. So now if I turn the knob back as far as I can go by hand, that paint line is centered up with the body of the mount, but the body of the bipod is turned. Now if I grab the knob and hold it there stationary in relation to the body of the bipod, turn them both at the same time, you get another, I don't know what you want to call it, 10 degrees of rotation. That's just with one hand. I'm holding the gun with my left hand, turning it with my right hand. So I'll show you again. It still comes, I mean, right there you can see how much tighter it is. It still comes loose, but so I'm going to tighten it, turn the bipod lefty-loosey, 
tighten the knob as far as my hand will take it and then grab the whole thing, knob and the body, turn it together, and now you've got it a lot, a lot tighter. Just that little extra bit. You don't need a wrench, you don't need a pliers or anything like that. It gets it a lot tighter. Now if you want to get it really, really tight, you can do it again, but I need two hands. So right now, just show it one more time. Move it, tighten the knob, move it together. So I've got that, you can see where the paint pen is there. Now if I hold the knob in place and rotate the bipod, so you see the paint pen is still there where I had it tightened down but I rotated the body of the bipod. Now if I do the same technique, move both at the same time, oh it's tight, it needs two hands, but you can see how far I've gotten that rotated. That might be 20 degrees or 30 degrees. I mean it's the complete scallop of that knob over. So that's my pro tip. Maybe that'll get some guys back on a PSR because they're sick of it coming loose. You still, no matter what, are going to have that, if you get on a stage where you're panning a lot, it's going to come loose. Now, I've got a couple ideas on how that could possibly be remedied. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the PSR bipod. I love it. I think there could be a way to get this addressed specifically. I know the intent of the bipod is to have this, but I think there's possibly a mechanism that could be put in place that would at least keep, once you get it to this point, it would keep that tension regardless of panning and it wouldn't lock it out completely. Um, but that's something that I would have to think more about, talk to Casey about. I, I don't have anything fleshed out, so don't, uh, don't quote me on that or anything like that. It's just maybe something that's possible, but I'll show you guys one more time. Rotate the bipod, then tighten the knob, move them both together, and bang. No wrench, one hand. Do that as you're waiting in line to shoot your next stage, and your bipod should stay tight. So that's my tip of the day, and uh, thanks for watching.